If all you want to do is hear about the 251s, skip to here. If you'd like to watch the rest of the vlog, and I hope you will, hit a like and continue watching. don't usually start vlogs this late in the day, but I'm heading into London this evening to a very special kind of presentation uh, on Jazz Vespers. I've got to play and I've got to show the presentation, which I basically did. Let's get me in focus. Which I basically did this afternoon on the MacBook. So I've got to take the MacBook and the sax with me. Now I used to always just take in, uh, I used to take in a suitcase with my saxophone on the back, but last time I did that, case fell over, smashed the iPad screen, so I'm really not wanting to do that this time. So I'm just waiting for Katie to get home so I can swap over the babysitting duties and go get the train. But I say, it feels weird getting a truck, well, starting a vlog, and it's already gone dark. Swap the bags around. I was going to carry the saxophone and put the um, laptop stuff on the back, but the sax just feels better when it's uh, light. It's so much better here, isn't it? The sax just feels so much better when it's on the backpack. So, train should be here any minute and then uh, get into Westminster. Made it to Westminster, it's like really late. I didn't change trains like I usually do. So, <laughs> so I've got the sacks on my back. Chance to get a little bit of supper and then onto the gig. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Forgot to use the camera during the talk. I was going to share some of it with you, but never mind. I'm going to make this into a two day vlog. So I'm heading back home now. It's um, 9 30 pm. I'm at Liverpool Street Station. I feel like we've not really had a chat on a train for a long time. <laughs> I'll try and stay awake and not wake up in three stations past where I need to get off. These trains are really crap though. We should be getting those ones. We always end up with these really crap ones. Shouldn't have stayed up so late last night watching the cricket, the ashes. I'm so tired this morning. Just off to fly the drone for you just to try and see if I can get these, you know, this 
new panel. I have to update it to the Archtech thing and uh, see if I can make that better. I wanted to level with you. I have uh, now lost 12 pounds uh, in weight since, uh, where are we now? This is about two months ago. I'm using Slimming World. I thought I'd be honest and integral with you guys. I want to lose a lot more. Uh, my target is to lose over five stone. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, I've kind of had a an iffy week. It's been really, you know, you've seen on some of the vlogs, it's been a very busy week. Uh, we had Domino's pizza with the kids on Saturday, which I thought was a terrible idea, but I still lost three pounds this week. So whilst I'm really happy about that, I also think, you know what, I could have lost half a stone this week if I'd really stuck to my guns the rest of the time. The app is amazing. I've got to admit, last night I was coming back on the train station and just had those little chicken pots that made a huge difference just eating because I knew on the I went on the app and figured out that they only had one sin each whereas if I'd just kind of used my own intuition and ordered blindly you know like the satay chicken satay chicken satay what the earth is satay satay chicken was like 22 sins so you know it's kind of making those wise decisions and especially as a musician you're so often just grabbing and going grabbing and going I know we a lot of us do that anyway but as a muso you're often working late at night you know you're kind of not eating at the proper times and that's kind of how I put a lot of my weight on I'm just going down the rabbit hole of YouTube. I fully understand that some of you may have arrived on this video doing the same thing, looking for something, and you just go down the rabbit hole of looking at different things. Anyway, I was trying to find a video of Michael Brecker talking about the importance that he placed on practicing 251s. I can't find it, sadly, um, but maybe I read it somewhere. But it struck home when I heard Brecker saying that because there is one of the most accomplished saxophone players of his generation who could definitely play over 251s, still saying that in his practice schedule he still spent a lot of time, especially if it was just maintenance, working on 251s. And one of the things I was talking about in this masterclass I gave the other week, sorry, the other day, it wasn't the other week, um, was about the importance of you know learning how to improvise over 251s and finding a tune that will do it. Because, yeah, I went through some of the Abersol stuff, it can be quite boring just doing that and it can lack direction. So, Autumn Leaves is a great one, because in Autumn Leaves you get a 251, plus then the four chord in the major key, followed by a two, five, one in the mi relative minor key. So on tenor, you get D minor, G7, C7, so C major seven, F major seven, followed by B minor seven flat five, E seven flat nine, A minor. And so it's really useful to practice it in that key, but then practice it in all 12 keys. And if you've got something like uh, the jazz session band or the i real book or whatever you've got something that can then take the backing track into a different keys it's really helpful to do play the melody then try you know then improvise and what i was suggesting to these students was over the major 251 with the four chord um play chordally think of three five seven nine or what i sometimes term flip harmony in other words if you've got the d minor on tenor c minor concert don't play the C, don't play the D, you know, basically take the major chord off the third. So here's the chord on here. It 
just opens it out a little bit more. Do the same on the other chords, always build the chord off the third. Then, on the minor 2-5-1, focus on just the scale. And you can use, on tenor, you can just use the A harmonic minor scale, which is A to A with a G sharp. Let's start it on the E. Now, remember you're doing this to practice to learn. That reed feels really soft and hot. You're doing this to practice and to learn. You're not that's, you won't do this on a gig. And then flip it around. So then maybe do scales over the major 251 and arpeggios over the minor 251. But then play it in all 12 keys. I just find this works better for me than going, I'm gonna run everything, you know, I'm gonna practice 251s. If you're a really advanced player, then try and put Coltrane changes over that. You get what I mean? Trying to think doing it kind of rather than sitting down and writing down in pencil, doing it over the top. So that's my kind of approach to 251s. I hope you found that useful. I hope the vlog wasn't too kind of long or too uh, weird in its narrative. Uh, any questions or comments need to go in. I'm going to do a QA and a vlog uh, at the weekend. And thank you very much for watching. If you don't already subscribe, please hit that button. If you find out what I was doing in my last vlog here, and this is what I was doing this time last year. See you soon. Bye-bye.